This week I'm going over what I'd buy if I had just $2,000 to spend on a filmmaking kit. Hello, my name is Simon Cade and this is DSLR Guide. So I've done a few of these filmmaking kits before and I wanted to do one that was a full kit again, but this time $2,000 because I realize there are people who are going to be wanting to spend a bit more than just the bare essentials. So the first thing is the camera. Now this time I'm still going to say the Canon 600D. For $2,000 you could get a much better camera. And While that's true, I think it's very good to spend less on the camera because at this price range the cameras aren't going to be fully functional and ready to go. You still have to buy audio equipment and you still have to buy accessories, things like tripods and stuff to make sure that they work properly because you can't just have the camera. So that's why I'm recommending a cheaper camera because then you've got plenty of room left to spend on the other things which are actually more important than the camera. So to go with the T3i, this time I'm going to recommend the Tamron 17-50 2.8 VC because this lens is a great focal range for this camera and it gives you the 2.8 aperture which is really nice for getting a shallow depth of field and for low light stuff and it has VC which is basically image stabilization which means that you can get a lot smoother handheld shots and of course you'll need some SD cards in order to record with this camera so I recommend getting two SanDisk Extreme Class 10 cards and that will give you about 80 minutes or so of recording time you can always get more later because you can never have too many SD cards now, moving on to audio, I recommend the Rode VideoMic. This is a very affordable microphone, which has been extremely popular in the DSLR filmmaking industry because it just works. So I recommend that, but don't stop there with audio. Audio is very important, so we're gonna buy some more things which will make our audio quality rise well above if you just plugged the Rode VideoMic into your camera. So you're gonna need a Zoom H1, you can plug your Rode video mic into this recorder using a cable, the Rode VC1, and then you'll also need a boom pole in order to get it close to the talent, and finally you'll need a grip to attach the Rode video mic to the boom pole. And that is a really solid audio setup, which I think works really well. I'm using it right now, but it's great because you can get the mic really close with that boom pole. Simple as that, that is how you get good audio. Now, the next thing is a tripod. Every filmmaker should have a decent tripod, and that's why I recommend the Libeck TH650DV. This is a tripod that I've been using for many years, and it's just a very simple, nice, sturdy tripod with a fairly smooth head. And the really nice thing about it is it has a bowl mount, which means that you can level your camera off really quickly. Now, that saves tons of time and is really, really convenient on set. So. I recommend this tripod if you can find it second hand then that's great because it is a little bit expensive but I got mine second hand on eBay so I recommend that you do the same. So you need somewhere to put all this equipment so I recommend you get a Case Logic backpack. This should be able to hold most of this stuff and it's pretty well made as well. So now let's talk about those important accessories that I mentioned earlier on. The first one is the Lampart portable battery. Now this is a amazingly affordable and amazingly impressive battery for your Canon 600D or any of the other cameras with the LPE8 battery. Now you can also get one for the LPE6 mount, so this is pretty universal for those Canon DSLRs. And essentially it has a wire coming out of your camera which will then go to a, like a battery pack which is about this big and that will power your camera for about eight hours it's hard to put my finger on exactly how long it is, but basically you'll handle a full day's shoot, no problem, and you won't have to swap out batteries every 40 minutes. That's the real benefit, is you don't have to take your camera off your tripod, swap out the battery, get a new one, charge up the old ones. You just charge up once, and then it'll go for the whole day. So that is really valuable. So the final thing on my list is the Tiffin Variable ND Filter. And a lot of people are gonna to want to have the ability to get a shallow depth of field when you're outdoors, or in some other brightly lit situation. And that's where the variable ND filters work really well. Now for some reason this filter is really difficult to find in the UK. So if you are in the UK then I'd recommend 
that you have look into yourself, but you might want to get the Genus ND filter instead, which isn't quite as good, but for some reason the Tiffin one just costs tons over here. So that's it for the $2,000 kit, but as usual, I'm going to give you some extra things in case maybe you want to spend a little bit more than 2000 or if you've already got some of this stuff, because I know a lot of you will have a DSLR, for example. So the first thing is a Camera QV1 viewfinder. This is a very affordable and effective viewfinder in that it blocks the sunlight from reflecting off your screen, it makes focusing a little bit easier, and it gives you an extra point of stability because you can have the camera hold up to your eye. So this is the viewfinder I use, and it's pretty nice because it allows you to use the rotating screen to its full capacity. Now the next one is very inexpensive and really, really useful. It is a five-in-one reflector. And essentially it has all these different surfaces which allow you to reflect the light, bounce softer light or cut light, and it's really useful. I have three of them and I use them all the time, and I recommend that whatever your budget is, you try and get one of these because they are really, really helpful. Speaking of lighting, I'm always going on about how important lighting is, so if you do have a bit of extra money, I'd recommend that you look into a fluorescent light head from eBay. Now, you can get these pretty inexpensively, and they work really well because they have a really nice power output, and you can swap out the bulbs for some more expensive ones and get a really nice quality of light. So for very little money, you can get started with lighting, and trust me, that'll make a huge difference to your films. It'll make them look so much better. The final one is a monopod. Again, this is a more pricey one, but again, it's really helpful. So if you've got a bit of extra money, I would recommend getting the Manfrotto 560B monopod, and this will allow you to have a much more portable version of your tripod. This is great for events or anything else where you don't want to be limited by carrying around a big tripod. Okay, so that is the $2,000 kit. Now, I'm gonna be doing a lighting kit next, but if you wanna see any other kits specifically or any other episodes in general, then feel free to write a comment or hit me up on Twitter because I check those pretty regularly, so I should be able to get back to you on that. And yeah, so as I said before, all the links are in the description so you can find exactly where to find these products. And I'll see you next time.